that curiosity is almost what I want to say is one of the big reasons that allowed me to grow as fast as I did at this company. Here's the thing. I don't recommend monetizing something that you are not going to be fully committed in for the long term because it actually held me back from my own success because essentially what the owner of the company, Quan, he told me, he was like, hey, so how much money does your website bring you? I was like, X amount. He's like, okay, well, how much money do you think you can make here? I was like, uh, well, uh, I think possibilities are limitless here. I think I could become net worth of a millionaire or more. He's like, okay, so why do you continue doing your side business? I was like, well, so I can have extra streams of income. And he was like, so let me make you this deal. He said, what if I buy out your business and UZ Marketing would own this, but basically instead of working on that, all the free time hours that you have that you spend on making this website that you do this affiliate commission, why don't you channel it back into UZ Marketing and like that same amount of energy that you're channeling into this other project, channel it back into UZ Marketing and I'll pay you for the website so you can channel that energy into here. And I thought to myself, I was like, okay, well, let me just think about what I just said. I think I could be a millionaire through using marketing. Do I think I could be a millionaire through my website? No. So I was like, okay, I get what you're trying to say. Let's do it. So basically what I did was I compartmentalized that aspect. And instead of making videos and articles for that project, I'm now making videos and articles for using marketing. Uh, and it satisfies my desire to create and share knowledge and information with other people. And that curiosity of how I invested so heavily in trying to figure out how this business works. What do people think like? What do our customers think like? What do our employees think like? Uh, what are what are the behavior patterns in people? And if I notice enough employees, we have 70 employees at using marketing. And because we have 70 employees, I can kind of see on aggregate people's behavior based on certain situations. So when I start noticing some patterns in a person's behavior, I know exactly what their next step is gonna be. So I've discovered, that and myself and Quan, we have discovered that when an employee starts showing up late out of nowhere, like at first they were time schedule was perfect, like they came on, on time, they were punctual and all that stuff. When they start showing up late, that's a first step in a pattern. So you want, uh, we're gonna want to pay attention to the next couple steps because those next couple steps, if they follow in this pattern, it's going to result in the same outcome every single time. So the first part of the pattern is they start showing up late. Next part of the pattern is they start taking more days off than normal. And usually they're hidden behind like valid excuses like doctor, uh, sick, uh, you know, like they got something to take care of. Like they, they're usually disguised in something like that. Uh, but that's not the real issue. The real issue is actually fundamentally what's coming up next. So that's two points. The first thing is late. Second time thing is they start taking more days off. The third thing is they're gonna start somehow asking for more money those three things in that sequence if they start to occur they have been thinking about quitting for quite a while they have somehow for some reason have lost interest in what they're doing they have lost their passion or some something in their situation their scenario has led to them not feeling happy maybe it could be toxic dream stealers which uh, are from their family or friends maybe they're saying hey uh you're not doing you're not getting paid enough over there or or you know like some kind of information that they're feeding into the employee or maybe it's not always a toxic dream stealer. maybe it's just their own self-talk maybe they somehow forget what kind of opportunity we have at using marketing and uh, like as such they might have talked themselves out of the future that they have here and as such they are like th that's their path that's the path that they're walking if I didn't have the curiosity to really sit there and look at these people's personality and their patterns and behaviors we might not have known that like it's a very interesting thing to be able to predict someone's next move before it happens because they are following a predictable pattern of behavior. So, and this is not the only thing too. Like I've actually very uh, accurately predicted many different things in business over the course of the last six months because I've had so much curiosity and interest in digging deeper into people's motives. And like, at first glance, you would think, like, why is this guy spending so much time thinking about what this person is doing and why is he looking at all their past like that, that stuff is in the past why are you looking at it now but 
that previous data, if you know this saying, if you're in America, you've probably heard the saying, those who do not know history are bound to repeat it. That's why I study patterns and that's why I study what people do. So it's very useful. You'll be surprised. There's a lot of times that you might find it comes in handy for understanding what your people are doing. So aside from that, there's other ways that curiosity has really helped. But for the purpose of this video, I think I'll leave it at that. But just keep in mind, curiosity, if you're looking to grow in your business uh, or if you're looking to grow at the place that you work at, be curious. Expand your curiosity. Of course, you have to keep in mind that if you're researching something that is not relevant in that moment or is not relevant to your job duty, you're going to be way off base. So there's a wrong way to be curious. There's definitely wrong ways to be curious. You're going to want to make sure that you're not doing that. Like, for instance, I could tell you that, uh, there was this person that has a position at this company and in this position it's a very particular uh, role that they're serving and over the course of two years they were going to be in this role they had a they had a plan to grow from here to there this person spent hours and hours and hours developing this plan and idea of how we're going to build a structure for this role but they weren't doing the duties that were required here so while I appreciate their effort and I love their pizzazz and enthusiasm for going and investing like they were technically working be honest like they were working so they thought they were working on the right thing but they were losing out their the thing that they should have been working on was over here basically what I'm getting at is there's a wrong way to be curious so make sure you're expanding your curiosity in a way that's going to provide you value both in the right now and in the long term if you're working on creating a hiring package for your company well be super curious about that like dive deep into everything about that research things and you're probably gonna have to do things on your off time too because uh, you're not gonna be able to sit there for eight hours a day researching that's not gonna be possible because you have a job you're accountable for providing results so you have to do that but if you want to like seriously see some growth start doing this curious curiosity related things outside of work start picking up on patterns and start incorporating more information into you so aside from that i've talked on long enough if you guys want to know anything else about how to grow in your company if you have an experience that you want to know about uh from me or if you have a question on how can i grow in this company this is my situation leave it in the comments i can make a video i can make I can feature you on the next one. Or if you have any comments or suggestions or anything, leave them in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget, uh, this is the number one place for figuring out how to become a better employee to rise through the ranks. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.